what up YouTube this is Woody coming back with another video this, this video is gonna be a little off topic from what I normally talk about which is bikes and everything today I want to talk about the 2021 Ford Bronco that just got unveiled uh, and uh, it's pretty sweet I'm pretty stoked about it um, I think it uh, checks all the boxes that everybody was wanting and hoping for and then some with this with this new release of the Bronco it looks so good I can't believe how good it looks it, it far exceeds my expectations you know when they come out with a concept and it looks really awesome and uh, when it finally comes out it looks nothing like the uh, <laughs> what they uh, made you think it was gonna look like case in point uh, the FX FXR or not the FXR what is it the the 1200 uh, Indian FTR like that doesn't look nowhere near as good as we thought it was gonna look like but this thing looks sick I like the round headlights I like the grill I like the Bronco uh, in the grill I love that it's got a spare tire mounted on the uh, tailgate of it I love it the colors of it I think the fender flares sticking out real tight to the wheel looks sick and I was looking at some of the uh, there's gonna be like four, five or six different trim levels for this uh, Bronco I like the entry-level one and I can't think of what the big uh, something I don't know what it was but those two are like the low-end ones and they ain't gonna have like a locking locking real di rear diff uh, every uh, package but the bottom two or three will not have a locking rear diff which kind of surprised me but anyway I was kind of stoked when I seen that it was uh, Danny 44 some people kind of crap on it but I I feel like they went in the right direction with it um, I think every one of them except for the base model one might have the Dana 44 rear end anyway it's got Dana axles uh, I wish it was coming with a V8 but it's not in the cards yet but I guarantee you within two years it'll have a V8 in it I, I'm positive it will but we'll see uh, it comes with the i 2.3 uh, turbo four-cylinder and then it and you can get the 2.7 turbo eco, eco diesel which is pretty cool all the way up to like I think the v6 eco diesel or eco turbo it's the turbo eco turbo my bad anyways uh, I think it comes with up to like 410 foot-pounds of torque which is gonna be awesome in that little package uh, it is super sick I want one I want one bad and I'm not even a Ford guy but I'd love to have that Bronco the, the two-door they have a two-door option a four-door option and a sport model which is a four-door option and I think they missed the mark with the sport I think it looks like a glorified ex Explorer to me uh, I don't feel like they're gonna be doing very good on that I'll be shocked if people are buying it because it doesn't I don't think it comes with the optional removable roof I don't think it comes with the optional removable doors so and it doesn't look as cool as the two-door and the four-door but the four the two door is sick it, it some of these pictures it has a, a full door with a center cut out kind of like a side by side sometimes has when they have those doors and the center is cut out it looks sweet it looks awesome and I noticed in the picture on the four door one it comes the top comes off in like three or four sections I can't remember if the front section is two pieces like a Wrangler or not but that front section comes off then the section above the rear seat comes off over top of the rear seat and then the back section comes off 
So this should be super easy for a person to take off by themselves. A four-door uh, Jeep Wrangler comes off in two, three sections, the two in the front and then the back all in one piece. But uh, I've seen people take it off by themselves. Uh, it's kind of hard to do by yourself, but it can be done. Uh, but this one totally looks like a, a person could do it by themselves, like take it off by themselves and not need any help. Uh, I don't know how, you, they haven't showed so far how easy the doors come off, but I'm sure they come off super easy. They made this thing to uh, be able to handle uh, wet conditions and stuff like that. Like they fully expect you to be getting it filthy dirty <laughs> and hosing out the inside. They put rubber flooring in it with drain plugs and the floorboards just for that purpose. So you'll be able to hose it out and stuff. And I'm pretty sure they waterproofed everything and uh, waterproofed everything and all the, I mean, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about it at all the inside of this thing getting wet. Um, but it looks super sick. I'm really pumped about it. I like it. And I can't wait for it to come out so I can like look at it and stuff. They uh, like see it in person. Pictures, uh, pictures are one thing, but seeing it in person is gonna be a totally different thing. Um, what else? The, oh, they're only doing $100 deposits on these things. $100, that's it, to reserve you a Bronco. And then uh, they have a first edition one, so I guess that's, to me it sounds like that will be the early release one. The one that comes out first and it was a limited run and there's only 3,500 of them and they sold them they sold them within like two or three hours like they sold them super fast this is crazy but dude this thing's sick I want one bad uh, leave me a comment Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this new Bronco. I think everybody's loving it. I want to hear what other people think about it. Uh, I, I was at work all day asking people, I'm like, hey, did you see the new Bronco? What do you think of it? What do you think of it? You like it? You don't like it? I only had one person tell me that they didn't like it. And I was like scratching my head at trying to understand why you didn't like it. But anyways, let me know. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked the video. If you didn't, hit that. Give me a thumbs down.